It may have taken a little longer, but that's just the way I like it. Hello everyone, welcome back to PlayStation Doom, where I just beat the first level of episode 2. And now it is time for the containment area. It's definitely a very different experience when you're not hearing that. You know, that whole thing. Oh, hello. It feels a little awkward. Great, that guy again. It's a good thing he moves slow in this version. That's probably the one gr saving grace. Although I think all their shots are homing instead of a percent chance. Not really sure why that is. I guess the PS1 CPU was being pushed so far to the brink that it couldn't calculate a percentage chance of it doing something. Even though it literally does that all the time when they decide if they want to attack or not. Because that's the whole point. I guess they didn't want to add another one to it? I don't know. I don't know how this works. What I do know is that things appear to be a little more linear. But, of course, it's most likely because the Jaguar version that this adapted. It's definitely, a little, it's definitely more simplistic. There's not as many branching paths to it. To say the least. Hey, buddy. At least it feels different enough. That's the advan That's the interesting thing about the PS1 version. It feels different enough. Even though the levels are largely the same. It has that atmosphere to it, you know? It just does. It just works, it just works. Sorry, not that kind. Not that kind of work. Get out of here, Todd. Oh, uh, hello. Hey, buddy. How would you like to get infighted? Huh? There you go. Oh, boy. Huh. Funny how the Lost Souls are actually weaker. Oh, boy. This is considered a secret. Baffles me, too. Ha! It may be more tense, but it's definitely not tougher. Not that much tougher. Sure, there was a, a revenant or two, but they were easily disposed of as well. The fact that you keep all your weapons from the previous episode is definitely a game changer. In my favor. Not to mention the game is linear and smaller. Which is kind of funny. Although I suppose if you were playing this on the PlayStation with a PlayStation controller, it wouldn't be quite so effortless now, would it? Man, that just looks sad. Look at that, you got a, you got a whole rung just missing now. I should quit complaining, but still. It's a damn shame. Seeing these levels chopped up like this. You know? Just ain't right. Oh well. Huh. Not gonna lie, that took me off guard for a second. It'd be nice if their blood was rendered like that too. It had that sort of nightmarish effect where it's a greenish tint. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool? I take it the the person who replicated this or rather the the I guess, I'm guessing the original PlayStation Doom of course didn't have it like that, so I guess the the, the person who made this mod wanted to keep it faithful. That would be my best guess. Hello? Well, at least they still have this part. That'd be a shame if you were denied your chance to get another plasma rifle. Hey, buddy. Ow. That wasn't very nice. Huh. Cute. There's even blue armor here. Obviously, I'm not gonna grab it yet. That would just be stupid. Hello, friend. Looks so strange. Okay. 
This is not, this is not much of a bridge. It's more like a stepping stone. It looks weird. Just saying. I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying. Hmm. Right. For some reason, I just feel like doing this. That way, it's permanently down. It just looks right that way, you know? Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just weird. There's three more enemies to go. Aw, oh, man. They even completely butchered that spot with the... the freaking rising and lowering pillars. That was such a good spot, too. I know why they did it, because... A lot of moving parts is probably even harder on the CPU, especially the Jaguar that this is clearly deriding its levels from, but even so, it's a damn shame. I'll quit complaining at some point. But seriously, some of these things are like, very unfortunate missions. The Nightmare is a really cool addition, I'll give you that. Of course, that was exclusive to the PS1 version. That's something they were able to add because of the PS1's power. The PS1 did have some pretty interesting ability to do shader effects. I mean, not not advanced shader effects like normal mapping and the like, but, you know, just little things like that that allow you to mess with the screen effect. I mean, I know Final Fantasy for the... The Final Fantasy games for the PlayStation really pushed what the PS1's GPU could do in terms of screen effects. And you can tell even this utilized it to some extent. It really showed it showed itself off, didn't it? And for a second there it looked like I just stopped moving. I guess for some reason my keyboard locked up or something. I don't know. The refinery. Hello. It's kind of funny playing this without that endless loop of the intermission music playing. Maybe the equivalent would be if they used the PS1's intermission music, you know. That could still provide some fun. But obviously we're all serious here, aren't we? You were trying to shoot me, weren't you? Get a, get a cheap little pot shot. Because your weak little arse couldn't get an actual clean shot on me, could you? Well, I guess you could if I misnamed my shot. Hello. How's it going, friend? How would you like me to just gun you down? Blow you down? Mobile turret sequence, baby. Mobile tur turret sequence. Oh look, the Kakadu even has the right color blood. That was built into the mod. Because I definitely didn't... Oh wait, never mind, I forgot. I changed the GZ Doom PK3 to make that happen. I forgot about that. So I made it by default so the Kakademons, the Hell Knights, the Barons of Hell, the Lost Souls, and the Spectres all bleed the right colors. I think I had the Spectres blood as black, because I don't think you can set it to that transparent color that they like to use. That'd be really cool if you could. Can you imagine? Can you imagine that if you just shot them and then they just emitted, um, pixels? You know, shifting, uh, black dots? How cool would that be? Unfortunately, it cannot be. It's a system limitation. Or at least an engine limitation, I should say. Obviously, it's not a system limitation. They could easily do it. You can easily do it with the actual enemy sprite, so why couldn't it do it? It's just that it doesn't have the functionality to it. Hey, buddy. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for taking care of that pesky little imp for me. You, you people, you things really are stupid, aren't you? Nice. Did this level uh, not show up in the 32X version? Or did they just not have a BFG there? Because I guess they figured it would be overkill. Because I do know that in the 32X version, there's no legitimate way to get the BFG in the entire game. Huh. Okay, that's interesting. I'll give you that. I did not expect that. It is definitely cool how they mix in the Doom 2 monsters. Like, 
I think I mentioned before that I should probably make my own version of Ultimate Doom that just splices in the colored lighting. Well, maybe the colored lighting, but definitely the Doom 2 monsters that just splices it in. I think that would be really cool. Obviously a copy, not the original. You don't want to tamper with the original. In fact, I actually made my own version that includes Romero's sigil. I call it the really Ultimate Doom. Or I guess you could call it Ultimate Doom the Definitive Edition or something. Considering it's considered an actual episode to Ultimate Doom. Or at least Romero likes to think it is. So I basically spliced it in with the regular Ultimate Doom and I created the Definitive Edition. I think the obvious downside is that you can't, it's not vanilla compatible, or at least I don't think the, the one that I, I don't think the one I made is vanilla compatible, if you know, if you know what I mean. Hello. I should probably also remove the title screen for Sigil because it keeps overriding the original Ultimate Doom, and I don't think that's appropriate. Yeah, it looks cool, but I think for that kind of thing, you want to have the original one. Wow. You killed a nightmare. Hit easily. And that was damaged at that. Well, you were damaged at that. Wow, he barely even lost any health. Normally they take five rockets to go down. That time he took four, so... Well, he was, what, like around 80%? Maybe 75% of his original health? That's pretty damn good. I must say. I have to give you... Give you props, sir. Sire. A secret is revealed. Even though it was just a shortcut and didn't really accomplish much. It don't matter. It's still a secret. Hello. Okay, that's kind of cool. Did you, did you see what just happened there? When he went into a different colored light, his color itself changed. Well, obviously, but it, it didn't turn blue. It turned, I think, a reddish color. It's like it, it's meant to contrast deeply whatever lighting it's in, and that is really cool. I love it. That's the kind of thing that would make me geek out. And if I do make that theoretical spliced Ultimate Doom, maybe what I should also do is introduce the Nightmare Spectres. Well, I don't know if they're even called Nightmare Spectres, but... I guess we'll call them Nightmare Pinkies? They're more like Spectres, though, because they're transparent, but you know what I mean. Very funny. So those are imps. That's what that sound is. I mean, I guess I figured that already. Hello. Hmm. It's a good thing I saved that radiation suit. I'll be able to leave the level with 200% armor. Most likely not 200% health, because I haven't seen it... I haven't seen a soul sphere anywhere, but hey, 200% armor is still pretty damn good, especially for the protection it gets you. Oh, it's just a regular specter. Just a regular garden variety specter, nothing to see here. That is really cool. Though. He can't deny it. The, un the unfortunate thing, if I do make my own spliced version of Ultimate Doom, is I would never be able to share it with anyone, because technically it would... It would be, um, copyright infringement because I would be including all of the original Ultimate Doom with it. I don't think by its nature I'd be able to do it without that. And there was a Soul Sphere, so I can leave this level 200% armor, 200% health, baby. If I can quickly grab the blue armor and a med kit and then grab that Soul Sphere. Most likely not before this runs out, but thankfully I can just grab another one. The other one that I didn't grab already. Okay, come on, let's hurry this along, shall we? I just need to find some kind of med kit. Or just a couple of stim packs, that works too. I mean, I'm not really picky, as long as you get my health up to 100, I'm good. Bingo. Okay, that, that clinches it. Okay, I'm gonna grab the blue armor now. I should probably quit just saying what I'm going to do. Or saying what I'm doing. I mean, you can probably see with your own eyes that I am doing it. Bingo. What I'd like to know is why they, why they couldn't include cages. It's kind of weird. I mean, you could say, well, they just can't handle transparencies, but that's blatantly not true, because the enemies by their own nature use transparency. 
I mean, obviously, they're not... The sprite work isn't handcrafted so that they're, you know, defor it conforms like that. There's obviously transparency involved even with them. So the Jaguar version and the SNES version, pretty much all versions of the game could handle that, but it couldn't handle bars on the walls. How come it can handle transparency on all these sprites just fine, but it can't handle sprite... It can't handle transparency on a few walls. Doesn't make no sense to me. It's these kind of questions that keep me up at night. Probably. At least it sounds... It sounds nice for me to say, that, say it like that, doesn't it? Now let's see. I forget. Is that limited time only? Okay, no, 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 no. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna let you do me like that. I'm not gonna let you do me like that. Don't do me like that! Don't do me like that! Don't do me like that! Hello! But I will definitely do you like that. Cute. This is sort of intact. Kinda. Uh-oh. This is not good. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up! Get the hell out of there! They trapped me. Take this! Nice. Well, alright then. That worked out well, didn't it? For me! <laughs> wait, what the? Hmm. There's something behind there. No, oh, wait. It's just this. For some reason, that can't be discovered. Or at least it can't be filled in. I obviously, you can discover it. I discovered it with my own all revealing auto map. What I mean is. I couldn't fill it in as red. It can't acknowledge it as filled. Funny how that's just, uh... Just the used version of the Switch. Oh, look at that. Uh-oh. VA, taking advantage of the situation, huh? You're all taking advantage of me. I really don't appreciate it. Damn it. Even the radiation... Even the toxic people take advantage of the situation. Everyone's trying to take advantage of some situation. Wait, what the hell? What the hell is that all about? Hold on, I want to see that. Oh, okay. So it just automatically closes. Got it. For some reason, I thought it was some, on some kind of time-based thing. Clearly not. Sorry, I'll, I'll continue. As continue with my scheduled program. Convenient, isn't it? No, you don't. You're not shut get me again. Let's take this. And shove it. Up your arse. No, you don't, pal. No, you freaking don't. If you knew me better, then you would know that is not going to work. Not on me, muchacho. Not never. Good thing I got a BFG now. That actually won't matter anyway. Because the Cyber Demon always takes at least two shots to kill. Even under ideal circumstances, it takes two shots to kill one. And that is too much vulnerability. Will not accept it. Being so vulnerable. It sickens me. Pooh. Look at that. Hello, friend. Okay, that just looks weird. Can I just say that looks, that looks kind of weird? It's funny how the, the tip is completely bright, but then it just fades immediately. I mean, I guess it's better than just not having a flash, but still, it looks kind of weird. It looks jarring, to say the least. I think it would look better if only the actual flash part of it, just the fire part, the muzzle flash. I think it would look better if only that lit up when you fire, instead of lighting up the front section of the gun, because there's just such a huge contrast that it actually looks more distracting. It actually looks more um, uncanny than if they hadn't made it light up. That's just my opinion, though. I'm sure 
they did what they could. They tried to make it look somewhat realistic, but hey, you know what I mean. Hey, buddy. What's going, friend? Although it'd be even better if they could have had it on a gradient or something. You know, just maybe have it in strips. So where you got the first band, it's at full bright. The second one, it's at half bright. Sort of like an emission texture. I'm not sure if that was possible back then, but it would have been interesting to explore, I think. Oh. Okay. Cute. Very cute. Ah, so instead of a pressure seal, it's just a trap. That is weird. But hey, whatever works, I guess. Whatever prevents you from having to actually expend CPU on moving environments, right? Ah, look at that. Hello. Ow. Holy crap, that hurts a lot more than I thought it would. Considering the amount I backed up from. These explosive ra the explosive radius on this thing is insane. For real. It's weird. I don't know why that happened. And yet now I seem to be fine. One of life's many mysteries, I guess. Huh, look at that. Well, okay. Huh. Cute. Very cute. You think you're cute, don't you? There you go. Well, at least now I have access to blue armor. Blue armor is good. For freaking blue! <laughs> oh man, I just imagined if Angry Joe was playing this game. And then he saw the blue armor, and then all of a sudden he started freaking out. This armor is blue! Yeah, especially if the iPhone version, well, the newer one that came to iPhone and uh, consoles, if it had some kind of payment that you had to do to get blue armor. $18 for freaking blue! Nah, even they wouldn't be that stupid. The publishing branch of Bethesda wouldn't be that stupid, would they? I mean, it's hard to tell at this point, really. As apparently Doom Eternal's gonna have skins, but surely they wouldn't be stupid enough to put skins in such an old game. That would just be absurd. You know, like putting a Bethesda login that's man that was mandatory for a while. Oh, but it was just a mistake. Wink, wink. Translation. People didn't like it, so clearly it was just an April Fool's joke. Had a season April Fool's joke. I was clearly joking. Again, with a wink. Aww. You butchered it again. Look what they did to you. They butchered you, darling. Thank goodness that I didn't grab that. <laughs> I thought I was going to for a second there. Hello. Huh. Wait, is that another soul sphere? Oh, crap. <laughs> nice. Hello. Hello there. How are you? Hmm. Only half the secrets, huh? Normally I wouldn't really care that much, but this is doom. I should know this like the back of my hand. Hell, I got a all-revealing map, so I should know that like the back of my hand. For real, yo. Huh. Strange. Ooh. What's this? Cute. Well, I'm back here, but now I have an extra rocket, so... The next rocket I fire, it's gonna be in honor of this. Or something. I don't know. Uh, that's too bad. I was hoping there'd be the cage over it like there was initially. Oh well. Wait, what the hell? This is weird. This is very weird indeed. Ah, eh, forget it. Not even gonna question it anymore. This is just weird on so many levels. I'm just gonna get the hell out of here already. What the? What do we have here? 
Nice. A secret is revealed. Cool. It's a good thing there's another so uh, another soul sphere for me to grab. Also, why does it say supercharge? Was that a censorship on the part of the Jaguar slash PS1 version? Uh, actually, no. I think it said supercharge the original too, but but why? Why not just leave it as soul sphere? What, did you think that was too dark for a game that's all about hell? <laughs> Seriously, I don't, I don't get it. There's something I'm not getting there. Maybe it's a joke or something. I don't know. I don't know what's going on in their heads half the time. Seems like half the time it is, they just uh, do things on a whim. Or at least uh, for Classic Doom they did, definitely. But Carmack just decided, you know what? I've decided that screw, screw good performance. No, what we need is good-looking textures, which is why I'm going to take the Saturn version, the good one that you made, I'm going to rip it to pieces and tell you to just use the processor, which is going to make the game lag to hell, but hey, the textures will look better. And yes, that is something I will always harp on, because that is just stupid. It is just ridiculous. Oh, look at that. It opened. Excellent. It's a good thing I just grabbed that Berserk pack. Now I'm gonna go Berserk on these fools! Who cares? I got two med kits right there, not to mention another Soul Spear. Even if they did manage to rip through all my health at once, it wouldn't matter. I may as well just punch them all. To death. And I found yet another Soul Spear, isn't that great? I'm freaking loaded on Soul Spheres! A freaking trippin' soul spheres. Just ask the imp over there. Yo, man, homie be trippin' uh homie be trippin' soul spheres. Funny stuff, funny stuff. Anywho. Let's just go. Alright. Oh, right, it's over here. Two hundred percent, baby. It may have taken a little longer, but that's just the way I like it. Whatever gives me the biggest edge, I'll take it. Especially since I probably need it knowing me, right? Eight out of ten, that's not too bad. It's a lot better than five out of ten. <laughs> now this 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 looks familiar. Vaguely. You gotta love the music though, listen to it. I say as I make all kind of gameplay sounds that completely override the music. Huh. It, isn't a, it has a very unsettling tone to it, I must say. It's not trying to be creepy, it's just um, a little morbid sounding. It gives me a vibe very much similar to E1M8. I know I. I keep saying that, but still. A lot of this music gives me an E1M8 vibe. Because I think that's what they were going for, for the most part. Hello. How's it going, friend? Hey, buddy! Oh, right. Right, brother. Hey, buddy! You're trying to shoot me, and I don't appreciate that. I don't much appreciate it. Uh oh. Freaking lost soul generator right here. I think not. Douchebag. Hello. Now die. Oh, I just shed almost all my soul spear and blue armor. And you see why I'm so obsessive with grabbing those things? Because if I didn't, I'd be in a much worse position right now. Well, there are probably enough health kits that I'd probably live, but still. Three, four. Ah, there we go. Didn't even have to use all five. How quaint. Huh, look at that. Isn't that nice? Elevator. Very nice. Very nice! 
Lisa! Unfortunately, I'm all out of time, so I'm gonna have to say that is it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like half the equation. Legit. That one is straight up cut out. And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and very pleasant day in the pits of hell. See you later. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon or just check out the end screens right here.